This video is brought to you by 101figurine.ro. Check out 101figurine.ro to see a large assortment of action figures and statues from your favorite universes. Welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today on the turntable we got Eredin from the Witcher 3 series. Yes, from Dark Horse Entertainment. He is the leader of the Wild Hunt Red Riders. Anyway, we got him uh, all spread out on the turntable. First thing I want to do is compare accuracy as per the usual. But I'm going to tell you up front that I believe Eredin to be the best statue out of the Dark Horse series. Now let's put up that image. Here you go. Accuracy of the sculpt, you gotta say it's pretty accurate for the most part. It's gonna, not gonna be picture perfect, but the image I'm using right now is from an actual wallpaper. Like I said, I believe this to be the best statue in the line. So let's move on now. What else did I want to show you guys? Oh yes, I want to show you a picture of the actual box because the box itself doesn't fit in my frame. It's pretty huge for the most part. So if you want to keep your boxes, which yeah, they're kind of cool, I know it's nice to have, especially if you're a collector, you're gonna need some space for them, so just keep that one in mind. Now what we're gonna do after uh, he firmly spins around, we're gonna take a better look at Eredin, but like I said, paint is accurate, alright, to the original, the sculpt is accurate, these statues from Dark Horse normally don't really have any issues except one, the face sculpt, the face expression on every single statue except Eredin are lifeless, they have this death stare about them, that's the only problem Dark Horse has, but because Eredin is wearing a helmet, <laughs> he doesn't have that issue. It comes at a $30 price point, which to be honest, considering the quality we're getting here, it's a definite bargain, and if you're interested in Witcher collectibles, you gotta pick up Eredin as far as I'm concerned. So moving around to the back, you can see a little bit of blood splatter over there, all these, uh, all the cape and the tab art is made out of this soft rubber-like material, and it dangles a little bit around. Initially I even thought it was damaged in some places, but then after inspecting closely uh, the actual images it was modeled after, is completely spot on. In the box you don't get the sword attached, okay it simply attaches by a little peg, I'm not gonna show you, it's simple as pie, no problem at all. And as with all um, the Dark Horse... Uh, what you call them, statues, they come with an included base, the base however is non-removable, I guess you could try to remove it and cut off the pegs, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It also has of course the Witcher emblem embossed, and on the back some legal nonsense which nobody really cares about, if you want to read that just pause the video. And for the most part that's it for Eredin, again, from my humble point of view, it is the best statue out of the Witcher line, simply because he doesn't have a face they can mess up. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it for this review, we have done reviews or will do reviews for every single figure in the line, you got Ciri, Yennefer, Tris, Geralt and uh, the one you saw today, Eredin. So if you're interested in any of these, check out our channel. If you got any feedback for us, please let us know in the comment section down below. As always, my name has been Lazar, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching, like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoy our content and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye everybody, bye bye. Acest video v-a fost adus de către 101figurine.ro. Intră și tu acum pe 101figurine.ro pentru a vizualiza o multitudine de statuete și figurine din universurile tale preferate.